Hello, people! This is Light My Jedi, and welcome to a playthrough that I've done before, but for some reason I feel like doing it yet again. So, anyways, well, you probably already know what it is. I've got the turn to the audio, audio on my TV, but it's headed low, so it should interfere too much with the yeah, recording. Anyways, welcome to Castlevania Symphony of the Night for the PlayStation 1. Now I'm going to go ahead and pop in the two me PS1 memory cards I got. I just got a second one you know, a few days ago. Th three days ago, to be exact. Anyways. Uh-oh. difficulties with the memory card. There we go. Anyways, you can see, now that pro there's, there's proof that I have two PS1 memory cards. This one I got, this, the, thing, the newer one I got this one for three dollars. And I guess I'll go ahead and play as Alucard this time. Oh, there we go. Alright. I just feel like playing Alucard because it's been a while since I've played as, as him. I've been trying to grind out some speed runs with Richter. As an in Richter Belmont. Anyways, I think I'm gonna go ahead and let this cutscene fly out this time, just because. Man, this doesn't look too shabby for a PlayStation 1 era game. I really wish they'd do an HD remaster of it. Let's say the PS4. Or Xbox One for that matter. I know it's probably not ever going to be put on the Wii, the U, or the Switch. Technically, I could be playing this on my Wii U, which means I soft modded it a couple year, a year or two ago. I think it was actually a year and a half ago that I soft modded my Wii U. But anyways, that's enough about that. Let's go ahead and get started. Anyways, we can super jump, and I just. Yeah, what some people call it the air slash. All right. Let's listen to dialogue. Die, monster! You don't belong in this world. It was not by my hand that I'm once again given flesh. I was called here by humans who wish to pay me tribute. Tribute. You steal men's souls, and make them your slaves. Perhaps the same could be said of all religions. Your words are as empty as your soul. Mankind ill needs a savior such as you. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. But enough talk. How about you? Okay, it's time for this to... Here we start. Okay, come on. No, this cannot be. Anyways, here we go. The uh, reenactment of the uh, final boss from. Kim Castlevania, Ron. <laughs> it took a little bit to, you know, remember which game. <laughs> you know, this game's predecessor. <laughs> and, uh, that's not too bad stats so I've, as far as I've, what I've got right now. And, well, it's, 
That was about to wake up 300 years of sleeping. And my goodness, I'd forgotten how good this looks using S video. Zombies popped out. At least not on me. Anyways, I'm pretty dang good at this game. As far as casual playing goes. As far as speedrunning goes, I'm still struggling a lot. This is the one game that I'm able to kind of speedrun. In terms of being able to less than an hour. But that's only when I'm playing as Richter or Belmont. Anyways, I just like to do this just for fun. <laughs> look, 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 I singe death robes a little. Alucard, what is your business here? I've come to put an end to this. Still befriending mortals. I'll not ask you to return to our side, but I demand you cease your attack. I will not. Shall regret those words. We will meet again. Oh, yeah, great. Just, just great. Now death stole all of our equipable stuff. At least the stuff that Alucard always starts out with. Although we still happen to have the magic at our disposal. Though mainly, I tend to rely more on melee weapons. Meant to go down here. Like grab they have a heart max up. When you're playing as Alucard, the heart max ups increase the number of hearts you can carry. Well, it <laughs> jumped a little bit further than I meant to, apparently. A short sword. That's most of the always drops the short sword. And this one always drops the red rust. Okay, I'm gonna save. Because you never know when something might go sour. Here's the cue of Zoe. Now we can get hearts out candles. And stuff. Alright. Here's the second area of the game that you technically get to. Oh, whoops. Yeah, I'm taking a lot more damage than I should be. So it is. Okay. Good. And you may have noticed that that last punch counted as two punches. That's because of a, a glitch that's present in all ver at least the PS1 and Saturn versions of the game, where if you, you're at point blank range and so that the you know, fist passes through the hitbox tw twice, it counts as two punches, basically. I actually better equip some of uh, the newer stuff. Yeah, get a little confused because I'm more used to the Saturn version now than I am the PS1 version. What the? Dang it, that was a little too there you go, a little, little too close to let my guard down. But you guys I'm not taking quite as much damage. He's like have at least some basic armor on. Anyways, I decided to go and get that shield, even though I'm not gonna be using it anyway. Hey, what the I can press the attack button! Uh, 
I think I... You know, thinking about it, actually doing some modifications to my DualShock 2 controller. I'm using the GigWare controller right now, which is not a DualShock controller, technically. I don't even know if the button thing. GigWare controller supports Rumble. My old one... I can't remember if my old one did either. Anyways, you know, it's like a heart max event, you know, it, you know it's just a, If I was down below, I picked up a life max up. Life max up is increased the heart. I don't know why Alucard didn't jump just now. I was it's a good thing there aren't any bottomless pits in this game. Well, I also found this ROM hack of uh, 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 this very game that I'm playing right now, of Symphony of the Night. The only difference is it increases the quality a bit and opens up a, a hidden save room. Anyways, I'll you know, be sure to try to attach the, a video, make a, new, a video showing that off that hack. I'm trying to decide if I want to try to play on my Wii U, um, the emulator that I have on my Wii U, or if I just want to uh, use an emulator on my PC to play it. But, uh, but I'm pretty sure that nothing else is actually any different. Dang it. Spittle bones. Oh, wow, I just took an axe to the back. That one feels very good. Okay, I took care of that one spit of bone with a bare hand. Okay, I better heal, because there's a boss coming up, actually. Huh. <sighs> Yeah, I wish I didn't feel tired. Yeah, you know, so when you leave the screen, an enemy will respawn. In certain situations, you can abuse that if you're trying to farm for a certain item that, that can only be dropped by a, a certain enemy. At least before I go to the boss. Well, I suppose I'll get that hard. I also want to show this off. Magically sealed. Alright. I suspect we're maxed out on hearts. Yep, we are. Wow. I guess swear there's something going on with the... Uh, uh, hitbox. Uh, the, I mean, the, the input. Like, there's some kind of slight delay. Anyways, there's Slogger and Gaibon. So I'm gonna cut down to business here. And that was not very good how I did how I did that there. Okay. This is definitely not very good in the RNG for this boss. I mean, this is the most of the time I can just do that boss without taking damage. Anyways, here's a bloody zombie. I'm actually going to go ahead and, and go to, uh, continue recording for a while longer. Okay, so this, uh, this is actually a pretty slow one. I never really understood why it's so, quite so slow. And it's here's some sunglasses. Anyways, I'm gonna actually equip those just to boost the defense a little. Okay, 
we're, I'm gonna try not to use any more healing items than I absolutely have to. Anyways, this is actually a lot faster than that elevator. All right, did I just kind of clip through that? Whoops, I did not mean to do that. I was just showing off this, in this build. That was some spirit. <sighs> okay, let's see. Oh, yep, that's Dark Metamorphosis. Let's see if you're low on health and there's enemies that bleed. As part of the animation. Like just getting hit in general. You, you and it touches Alucard, it will heal him a little bit. I'll try to show you if I as soon as I get out of this room. Okay, let's do this. I did a match to make it take, take it do a little bit. Because apparently Alucard drinks the makes the, the blood. Okay, I'm gonna actually save in case anything goes sour later on. <sighs> Time to uh, get a move on. Okay, we're maxed on hearts again. Yeah, I believe I actually took damage from that. Okay, did that mean there's another? Er, what the? Okay, good. I'm not picking up that rebound stone, it's fairly useless except for in extremely confined areas. And I you know, somewhat surprised I actually managed to you know, get up there without taking an axe to the back. I'm sure I'll use the a bit moody for the moment. It's basically sacred ashes. I mean, they should be coming around any moment. Those spare bones. Oh, there they are. Okay, I'm going to kill this last spare bone. Alright. Now we're ready to go in to the, uh, the Marble Gallery, which has, in my opinion, the finest soundtrack in the game. Anyways, yeah, it's also home to, to the introduction of the Holy Water when you're playing as Alucard. Anyways, you, you probably tell, I'm not really that great of an aim at the holy water. I mean, I just pl tend to play better with melee weapons. Whoops, I accidentally failed a dagger. I want me holy water for now, though. I'm gonna save them. Make a slight detour. <sighs> and that is to get an item that allow you to see how much damage you're doing to your enemy. It's actually a, 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 this room, but. 
further down. Anyways, here's uh, Slinger. In Japan, he's known as Skeleton Rib. Excuse you, Slinger. These are marionettes. Hey, come on. Okay. Oh. Got knocked right into the uh, I don't want it to get anyway. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to that save room, heal, and then move onward to the Save room. Next boss fight. Oh, as I just mentioned, this is only PS1 game that I'm really good at. <sighs> oh, I've been feeling tired all morning. <laughs> yeah, this is a good thing I don't have work on Fridays. Is that recording? Uh, yeah, that's not Friday. I just I'm really tired today. Okay. And I know I'm probably gonna get some copyright claims on the soundtrack by Konami. But hey, <laughs> I'm a huge fan of. At least this, all versions of this game that I've played. Oh, I mess you. No, no, practically roundhouse kick those two flea men. Yeah, Chuck Norris style, apparently. Anyways, here's the next cutscene. Wait a moment. You seem human, and yet, what do you hear? I've come to destroy this castle. Then we have the same purpose. I'll trust you for now. I'm Maria. Who are you? Alucard. Not the talkative type, I can see. Well, perhaps we'll meet again. If you live that long. Farewell. <laughs> Alright, time to get going for the next boss. And here's another thing. Man. Oh, good, I managed to actually kill him mid-air. Okay. Oh, right, there we go. That was... that could've gone... I've a lot worse than what happened. Oh, okay. The skeletons, wow, apparently we're strong enough to take out one hit now. But the bone scimitar, I mean, not the scimitar, but slinger, like, he still takes two hits. Well, also, I just have to a crick on the one, and it still takes two. Ooh, morning set. That's, that, that's not dropped very often from the Oasia table, which is what we just killed. There's taking over these red moving boat platform things for later. Alright. That's a Diplocephalus. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that name correctly or not. That's the holy water. <laughs> Don't like it. Too bad. There's, there's a stone rose up here. What? I was not expecting that. <laughs> I just <laughs> showed off something. I inadvertently showed off something. 
That's incredibly rare. Alcor normally turns into a into a statue of himself that when it will actually take make more damage than his normal self. Or he, or he gets hit by well, he gets turned to stone by this enemy and a certain other enemy that I really hate in confined areas. The Scarglow form is invincible, but he still can't move. Anyway, let's break free. Anyways, these stone roses are weak to cut damage. And fire too, I assume. Being plant matter. No, you see, this is what normally happens. You see? That's the norm. That's annoying. Oh. Ah. Uh, come on. Whoa. That was an interesting frame. For it to freeze on while I was leveling up. Oh, I don't want the axe. Oh, what the? I didn't realize that those enemies respawned in the PS1 version. I thought it was just the Saturn version. <laughs> It sounds like it's raining outside the castle. Yep, it is. Okay. Goodbye there. Sword. Where are you going? Sword. I don't know what his name is right now. Anyways, I'm just gonna stay and let Alucard stand there for a little bit. No. There we go. Anyways, this is an area that you can supposedly only access later. Anyways, I'm actually going to equip the jewel knuckles. And that mirror cures. Because it has more defense. Plus, Alucard won't get turned to stone. You've just made our fists a lot more potent. I'm actually going to go ahead and here's the second enemy I was referring to that I hate. Medusa heads. It's the yellow ones in particular that irritate me the most. And the thing is, you always seem to find them in super confined areas. What the? I already got this portion on the map somehow. Let's take a look inside here. Oh, there's a ferryman. Who, as I understand, is also in this game's predecessor, Rondo of Blood. Alright. Time to move upward. Dodge the Medusa heads. And that's not by being meant by dodging the Medusa heads. Oh, excuse me! <sighs> okay, Zircon. And I am actually trying to get maximum percentage on this. Oh, I was kind of hoping for the rare drop item, which is the axle shield, so I can use it in conjunction with the shield rod. Which I'll explain once I get to it. Wait, how much money does Alucard have? Alright. Overrating data. Okay. I'm actually gonna fight the boss, and then after I get to the next safe point after it, I'm gonna end the video. Anyways, this is 
Doppelganger 14, I believe. Dang it. Okay, good. I had the advantage of that high ground there somehow. <laughs> oh, that little bit of slowdown apparently. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Anyways. Let's see. Yep, got that a little early. I mean, this elevator here is really fast. Oh wait, I didn't equip the Gladius. That's stronger than the short sword by one point, but it has a good reach. Oh, for a second I thought that it was still uh, Skeleton Ape was still alive. Okay, here's the bone muskets. Oh, I swear, bear a strong resemblance to the sand people in Star Wars. Whoa. Ooh, I got a cutlass. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got be careful. Anyway, let's go ahead and go down and grab the solo wolf. Man, that's got hurt when you're inside it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go up to the same point. Okay. Whoa! That's one way to get out of there, I guess. Not what I was trying to do. Anyways, I guess I'll end this off here, so see you next time. Bye, everybody.